Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan, and our life is being turned upside down right now. And not freak out along the way. Maybe a little bit of freaking Just out. Just a little bit. <laughs> we're packing up and moving out of our comfortable house in the suburbs. A little bit emotional right now, because it's a big change. And permanently moving into our camper trailer and yurt. You made it! You made it! Everybody made it. We're also preparing for the arrival of our cabin kit home. And we are both nervous and we're anxious, we're excited. And making sure we're totally prepared. Do not push that, chances are it's going to roll. But there are so many parts of this process that are completely out of our hands. It's just not the way I wanted to wake up this morning. Follow along as we prepare for one of the biggest moments of our lives, the arrival of our cabin kit home. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a moment of the adventure. So you guys know that we're getting ready to move to the Hood Canal. We finally made the big decision to just do it. Yeah. So since you've last seen us, we passed our electrical inspection. We've been packing like crazy. And we've been packing this house that we're at right now. And it's not normal packing because as we said, we're turning this house into an Airbnb. So we're making big decisions of what can actually come up to the land and it can't be too much. And then what needs to be stored. Yeah, and what we need to store so it's equipped for an Airbnb. So we're not gonna get this all done in this one shot. But we're close. The big plan definitely is to get up there, get up there tomorrow, we can unpack. My parents are super awesome and they're watching our kids a lot during this, this whole time. So we can kind of get ourselves all acclimated. And we're shooting to have the Airbnb ready by like August 1st. Which will be like a month from when we're recording this video. We have six days until yeah. the cabin arrives. So we have a lot going on, a lot of stress, a lot of nerves, uh, just kind of waiting that day because we're it's a little unclear uh, what, how, how things are gonna play out. We're, we're gonna work hard to get, uh, get the rest of the house packed up tonight so we can head up to the land and start this new chapter. Yeah, and not freak out along the way. Maybe a little bit of freaking Just out. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye. You excited? Said go in the car. <laughs> yeah, I know. Going in the car ride's fun. So I just took off from the house. We're all loaded up in the truck with the trailer and we were doing this. We are heading up with our final load to the Hood Canal to live and build our cabin. It's kind of surreal to be honest. This was something that I never even thought I wanted in my life. I, for the longest time, uh, thought the dream of living in suburbia in a large 2,500 square foot house uh, was the dream, it was what I had worked so hard for. And it left Sarah and I feeling a little, a little bit empty inside, to be honest, like we were missing out on something. And when we really started focusing on building our cabin and the dream of actually living up in the Hood Canal and building the, the cabin that we, uh, building and living in the cabin that we built, started becoming more real we started getting more and more excited and now that it's actually happening we are so excited and so nervous and we're just honestly just ready for ready for the adventure so i'm a little bit uh a little bit emotional right now because it's a uh it's a big change in our life and for our kids. I really hope we're making the right decision, but we're gonna take you guys along for the ride.
All right, I pulled over really quick. I'm about 15 minutes from our land. It'll be the first time I'm pulling into it to live there. It's just kind of crazy, but the kids are off with my parents and Ryan and I get to unpack and get stuff ready for the cabin that's coming. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel really lucky that I get to choose the spot where I'm gonna live and raise my kids for the rest of their time and all of that. So I don't think a lot of people have this opportunity. I'm really excited that Ryan and I are jumping at it. My eyes won't stop leaking. <laughs> and if you know me, you know that I just don't cry very often. So I'm really excited. I know it's hard to tell through crying, but if you've ever moved, you know, it's just overwhelming. It's a lot. So, and I'm really nervous about our cabin coming, I'm really nervous that it's all going to work, I'm really nervous that we know how to do everything we're about to try to do, but if there's one thing I know, Ryan and I can always figure it out, so I have all the feels right now, I'm feeling all the feels, so, and I'm pulled over one of our favorite state parks really close to our home. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go finish this drive. I'm going to pull up with my dog and I can't wait for my kids to get here on Sunday with us, which is like two days away. I can't wait for the cabin to come and I just can't wait for this adventure. So here we go. I just made it here a few minutes ago and Sarah's about an hour behind me so I'm going to try to get as much of this unloaded as possible so that we can get to work on some of the projects that we have uh, tomorrow in preparation for the cabin getting here. I mean guys the cabin is coming on Tuesday. On my drive up here I contacted the rental company, uh, got the flatbed trailer rental we needed to set up a contingency plan in case the big flatbed trucks can't make it up our hill so the contingency plan is renting a flatbed trailer um, and then when the trucks get here we'll unload everything off the flatbeds and then we'd have to load them up into the trucks and trailers and then haul them up the rest of the way up to the land we really really hope we don't have to do that because it's going to add countless hours to the unloading process, but we're being prepared just in case it happens. I think Sarah's arriving. You made it! I made it! Everybody made it in the car. <gasps> Hi, Marley! All right, we both got in yesterday and we started unpacking as best as we could. It is definitely an overwhelming process because we're getting all of our stuff into the trailer and into our yurt. And we've always just kind of used our trailer as like, it's almost like a little vacation home for us. So it didn't have a lot of stuff in it. So we're working really hard to figure out how to maximize the little space that we have, but also become more mindful about how much stuff we have. Um, cleaning out our house in Oregon was definitely, it definitely showed us that we just have too much stuff. And sometimes we hold on to some things because we think, oh, we can fix that, but we never do. So we were kind of talking about that uh, last night. Like it's good to be mindful. It's good to fix things when you can, but sometimes there's weird things that you just can't fix and you hold on to them for whatever reason. So anyway, we're going to try to be more mindful about that. Definitely within the trailer. Um, and another area that we both really struggle in is food. Like our pantry at our other house was so stocked. So today I'm going to be unloading all all of the pantry items that we brought and finding homes for them in the trailer and figuring out like does this work or does it not and same with our bathroom items and just all of the stuff so I'll take you along for the ride today that's like that's my job today Ryan is actually outside and he is installing our washer and dryer that we got it is a smaller capacity washer and dryer 
we're keeping it right outside of our trailer with a little structure over it. So Ryan's working on actually getting that hooked up because we know that once the cabin's here, that's just like a project that if it's not done, it won't get done for a while. Our job today is to get all unpacked, all ready for the cabin to arrive and just be ready to do all this. So it's a little overwhelming. We actually have well, two and a half days to make it happen before my parents get here. And then we'll have one more day-ish, but we'll be getting our great all on that day and our flatbed trailer. So wish us luck. Okay, unpacking all the food, I'm almost done. We do have enough room for everything, but it's like we're consuming our whole living room kitchen space with food in the cabinets. So I'll show you that. And then I'm also gonna show you, Ryan is actually installing new faucets on both of our sinks in the trailer. Um, one in our uh, kitchen, so it'll be taller for easier dishwashing and actually have a sprayer attached to it. And then the one in the bathroom was kind of for me because I hated the way the other one looked. It was just really ugly and old and it's shot out water in a weird way. So he's in there working on the one that's only for vanity purposes right now. All my fancy Norwex rags are all over the land. Okay guys, the week is finally here. This is the week where we're gonna get our cabin kit delivered. And we are both nervous and we're anxious, we're excited. Um, we have a lot of plans in place for how this will happen because we live on a really steep hill and the cabin kit is being delivered in two semi truckloads. So we're a little bit worried about the semi getting up our hill and onto our property. So we've made a few plans and one of them is to get a flatbed trailer in case we need to unload the cabin kit at the bottom of our hill and then bring it up on the flatbed trailer. So we're actually on our way right now to United Rentals to go get our flatbed trailer. And then later on this afternoon, we're gonna have our great all delivered, which if you don't know what that is, it's a really heavy duty forklift. Four wheel drive, all wheel drive, massive forklift. Yeah, I, we were kind of looking at pictures of it and I'm like, whoa. So that will actually be delivered to our land this afternoon. So it's a big day. And we got a call on Friday from the rental company and they said that their, the great all that we had reserved, the 6,000 pound capacity one, wasn't available any longer. So they gave us the option of getting a 5,000 pound or an 8,000 pound. So of course we went with the bigger one. Uh, so we'll have plenty of capacity. Hopefully that doesn't impact our ability to navigate though. I didn't think about that. You didn't tell me that part. <laughs> so we're really excited to take you along for the adventure. We'll share it all with you um, and just take you along for the ride. I got it. Oh, you just drove right past it. Uh oh, I said you're not in here. Oh my God. No, no Nobody's coming though. out. There's like a spike strip. Oh my god, all of it. They're laughing. They're like. Up. Is it? Oh. This, this clamps down. Then you put this pin in there. That prevents from lifting back up. Okay. But so there's always like this little yes, bit of. Yes, you always have that play in there. That little bit of play. All right, we just got the trailer and that's all loaded up and Ryan actually got a quick little great all lesson. Yeah, the people at United Rentals were super helpful. Uh, one of the guys asked if I had a lot of experience and I told him no, so he walked me through some of the basic operations and uh, I think it's gonna be uh, no problem. I, I think we're gonna be able to manage this without issue, but it was nice to get a little tutorial with somebody there that I could ask questions and uh, it was good. And we even met the guy that's going to drive up our great all, so we were able to chat with him a little bit. And it sounds like he's a pretty experienced driver, knows the area. So we've got plans in place, which helps a lot because the cabin is not coming today. 
much. But Ryan and I are both definitely like have that butterflies in your stomach feeling. So um, it was kind of nice seeing people and chatting with them and then being like, it's not going to be a big deal. You guys totally got this. So here we go. <laughs> You don't even have to worry about it getting stuck. No. All right, the trailer is here. Um, after speaking with the guy who's going to bring our grade all up, we're really thinking that the cabin unload is going to have to happen down our hill, which is totally fine and one of the plans we have in place. So we are also going to go do some scoping out today on the road, just thinking about where even Ryan can turn around that trailer. Because even though we have five acres, not all of it is flat. And a lot of it is consumed with things like our trailer and our yurt and our build site. So it's not actually really easy to turn around a big trailer on our land. We got the trailer. The great all is being delivered, should be here any minute. And and then we have, we're, we're all set. I mean, we, we, we've done everything that we can do. And then we just have to wait to talk to the driver. I'm hoping that I'll talk to the driver tonight so I can give him some information on where to turn around and the contingency plans we have in place. It's getting real, guys. Things mm -hmm. every single time push this park brake. Okay. It's the only thing that holds it still. Okay. If you get out of this machine and you are on any kind of incline at all and you do not push that, chances are it's going to roll. Okay, I appreciate it. Good morning, guys. It is 6 a.m. and we just got some surprising news this morning. As we told you yesterday, the cabin delivery was running late and we pushed everything off until uh, Wednesday morning. And they were supposed to be delivering on Tuesday. So we had all of our trailer and our grade all set up for delivery. The message we got from the truck driver was that they're running late and they would be here on Wednesday morning instead. Okay, things happen. So we delayed things, pushed our help out, and had everything ready for Wednesday. So we wake up this morning at 5.30 and Sarah gets an email from the cabin company saying that the driver is tracking for a, a 4 p.m. delivery on Tuesday. And we're going, this, this is not going to work. We had a long conversation with the, uh, with the cabin company. They touched base again with the trucking company. And it sounds like now we're back to the original plan of having the cabin delivered Wednesday morning. So, guys, we, <laughs> we had... Uh, kind of already set up like today was going to be a rest day because we we knew the cabin wasn't coming and then to have this kind of thrown thrown in our schedule first thing in the morning is all going to be okay but it's just not the way I wanted to wake up this morning so the saga continues One of the scariest parts of life is the fear of the unknown. 
In every part of this journey, there has been an element of unknown, but waiting for our cabin arrival has been the most stressful so far. Having so many things out of our control is making it even more scary. When times feel overwhelming like this, I remind myself that the best things in my life are the result of things that scared me the most and pushed me way outside my comfort zone. I have a feeling things are about to get so good as we continually push ourselves outside of our comfort zones during this build.